Hey, what's up guys? This is Nick Bobin.com. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing Encaged's Intro Workout Fuel. So this product comes from Caged Muscle and it's made in a GMP certified facility in Idaho. Uh, and Caged Muscle sells like a wide variety of uh, different workout ingredients. Uh, they have uh, like casein and citrulline and carnitine and a whole lot of other ones. Um, but this here is their intro workout supplement. They have a pre-workout, but this is going to be taken during the workout itself. What's really unusual about it is that while it is like a BCAA supplement, the BCAA is actually fermented. So we're going to find out what that means. Uh, meanwhile, this is watermelon flavor. So let's see what it tastes like with water. Yeah, it's tasty. Um, it does taste like normally watermelon flavored BCAAs. It's like yeah, watermelon flavored candy. Um, but it definitely also brings to mind uh, the strawberry uh, Starburst candies. Um, so it's like both of those mixed together. It's good. I will say that um, this product recommends that you mix it with uh, two to four cups of water. This is one and a half cups of water, and I will agree that this would probably go down a little bit easier with two to four cups of water. It's a bit strong. So let's take a look at the nutrition and the ingredients. Uh, so one serving is 10 calories. Uh, that all comes from carbohydrates. There's two grams of carbohydrates in there. So the uh, BCAAs themselves, you get five grams in a serving, uh, and that's a two to one to one ratio of leucine, isoleucine, and valine. So that's pretty standard in the industry. Sometimes it's three to one to one. Um, and as I said earlier, they are fermented BCAAs. Uh, and so according to Encage, the reason they do that is uh, for improved dissolution uh, and also because it reduces the amount of uh, small peptides, which some people worry may elicit an immune response. Um, so that's why they decided to focus on fermented BCAAs. Uh, they've also got fermented citrulline in this, 3 grams, uh, which may improve endurance. Um, after that, you've got a beta alanine, which may also improve endurance. Uh, you get 1.6 grams of that. You get half a gram of coconut water powder, that's just for some extra electrolytes. Um, and then you've got taurine. Uh, so you get 1 gram of taurine, so that may improve, uh, may improve endurance. But the reason most people include uh, taurines in, in blends like this is that it helps to sort of attenuate the jitteriness that you get from caffeine. And there is about as much caffeine in this as you'll find in one and a half cups of coffee. Uh, so 124 milligrams of caffeine, uh, it's made from green coffee beans. And then finally you've got tyrosine. So that is an amino acid that may improve focus uh, during a workout. After that, uh, you've just got the other ingredients. So the citric acid that uh, helps to have that kind of sour taste. Uh, natural flavors, beetroot extract, that's where the color comes from. Uh, sea salt, silicon dioxide, stevia, this natural sweetener, sucralose, an artificial sweetener, uh, calcium silicate for mixability, and sunflower lecithin, that's to help mixability as well. Um, so the uh, one thing to point out is that there is, there's no soy in this, which they're very proud of, um, and there's no artificial flavors or colors. That said, there is an artificial sweetener in there. So as far as the price goes, this top here has 20 servings in it, and you can pick this up for $26. So it's about $1.30 per serving, or like roughly 26 cents per gram of BCAA. Um, so as far as BCAAs go, it's pretty, it's on the more expensive side. Um, a lot of the more common uh, BCAAs like, uh, like Cyvation Extend um, or Cellucor, they're close to like 11 cents per gram of uh, branched amino acid. So it is expensive. Um, I mean, it's, it's on the more expensive side. Then again, it does contain a lot of ingredients that a lot of uh, other BCAs don't, like for instance, L-tyrosine. In addition to that, they're fermented BCAs. So if the, that's important to you, um, that's going to be worth the extra cost. So um, what I liked about Encaged uh, Intra Workout Fuel, uh, I like that it's uh, it's definitely like more natural than a lot of their competitors. Um, as I said, there's no artificial colors, uh, no artificial flavors. Of course, there's the sucralose, but there's also stevia in there, a natural sweetener. Um, so that's always nice. Um, I like it has a good two to one to one ratio of branched amino acids. And honestly, um, they, uh, I like the extra ingredients, like the citrulline, the beta alanine, the taurine, the tyrosine. There are a lot of uh, competitors out there that have like a lot of sort of superfluous ingredients. They just throw in because they're cheap and they sound important, but they don't actually do that much. Um, I gotta say, Encage appears to have done a decent amount of research. There's a good amount of research supporting uh, some of the claims that these may improve your workout. So that was nice to see. So what I didn't like quite so much about Encage Intro Workout Formula is that, I mean, it is, it is on the more expensive side. Um, it also does contain sucralose. Some people worry that may have a negative effect on the gut microbiome, maybe. Um, so some people like to stay clear of that. Um, and finally, um, it, does, it has a pretty high amount of caffeine. Uh, it's what you find in one and a half cups of coffee. Um, so that can be good in the middle of a workout, but it's just, you need to remember that it may not be, like, it's not really an any time sort of mix. Like you can't really have it, you may not want to have it like later at night before bed um, or anything like that. So that's just something to keep in mind. All right, those are my thoughts on Caged Muscles in Caged Intra Workout Formula. For the full review, you can check out the link below at barbin.com.